two things quickly. One is um, the question of missing persons and uh, Mariam Wangadia. You see, before we closed off Parliament, Parliament had resolved that there be a thorough inquiry into this issue. Now, the Uganda Human Rights Commission, meant to be at the forefront of that, its chairperson wants to confuse us. You see, you can be confused, but you should not try and confuse everybody. We are not that confused. You can't say one thing today and another thing tomorrow. Are you getting into Evita Tegeli Keka? Fenda Bamu Tulo Zanti, Kuanga Parliament, yet work for Mading at Uganda Murumula. Gatuga Ambienti, and Songa Zinotua Galabeo, Okuno Nereza, Okwa Dala, Okwa Namadala, inquiry. Na ye, Tulo Zan over, Soke, Nakusindi Kiriza Maria Mwanga, Dio Nokumanga Biakola, Tabita Gay. Some of us are even thinking, why don't we begin by pushing Maria Mwanga out of office? Because if you do not know your job, then you're irrelevant. Sign out, let somebody else come in place. We had her predecessor who died, unfortunately. Honorable Med Kagwa. He was a fairly sober man. He's somebody that would pick interest in issues of human rights violations and would try and follow up. Ye munange, in songa zino, yes take anga kesida. Is open you give a nan sing a gamant mm when wali wobuzivu to no yeze. Nea take a catch no wanga dia, oxo kida dala, alagida dala pate, ye jali, kugambalagida dala side jali ko. Tuna no yeza ato gamant ya mulimba. Ah take a kati o limbo with ye wanga tuna no yeza. This one has clearly showed her partisan nature. She keeps saying, you know those things are lies, it is chiwanyi, it doesn't exist and so on. We think that she's incompetent and uh, we might choose to say that you know what? Let's first push her out and get somebody who is sober. Atene chidala alagante vintu vino tabite gero boli ya wabimuzito yeko. So nga tuwa gala alekulide. Babata ya gala kulekulida tumusindi ikirize avemu dido. Kumange nsonga zino ziri serious nsonga ezo kubula kanya bandana Uganda ezo kubabu zao. You know she has also complained a couple of times and said I even fear my own commission meetings. Some of the people they are in hold guns and that kind of thing. So we think that there's a problem with that commission and we need to sort it out. But uh, you can be sure we are going to start from where we stopped because issues of human rights violations, people missing, it is important. We cannot keep quiet about these issues. The second uh, issue is uh, to do with the EC appointees. Yes, the discussion has been out there. And we have seen the people that uh, have been appointed. You know, in the run-up to the last election, there were actually some electoral reforms that were passed. One of which, according to these people, a brilliant idea that dawned on them was to change the name of the Electoral Commission from Electoral Commission to Independent Electoral Commission. Because according to their thinking, that would make the Electoral Commission independent. It doesn't make sense. You see... When you're a thief, it doesn't matter even if we baptize you a new name and we call you innocent. You remain a thief, <laughs> even when the name changes. So those reforms did not make sense. Now, according to the Constitution, whether the name is attached or not, the Electoral Commission is supposed to be independent. It is supposed to be non-partisan. Now, you're bringing people who just participated in the most recent election, and you're bringing them to now be refreezed. How does that make sense? We are going to be on record because it's important to be on record that this is unacceptable. It cannot happen. As we raise our voices in Parliament, our hope is that the people of Uganda out there, you will raise your voices too. Because this is your process. And some who have been saying, so what happens to the electoral process and so on? An election is a process. It is not an event. An election does not happen at the time you are casting your ballot. No. The process begins now with the appointment of the referees. 